My name is Damali Sami and I welcome you to this episode of the Ideation Corner. The Ideation Corner is a space where ideas are discussed and dissected. And today I host Janat Nambi. She is the CEO of Unconscious Brilliance and she's going to tell us all about it. Janat, you're very welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Tell us about Unconscious Brilliance. So happy to be here. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> So Unconscious Brilliance, mm -hmm. I am a life and business coach and um, what I do is one-to-one um, -one coach, one -one coaching or group coaching and you know what coaching does is really open up our unconscious. So the reason I um, chose those, those names, mm -hmm. that name for my business mm -hmm. is it's really help people open up the unconscious and be the best version of themselves mm -hmm. or up level their success. Okay. So that's what um, that's that's how the name came about. But what I do one to one coaching, I like to work with women, mm -hmm. specifically women, specifically women one to one. <laughs> yes. I can only handle women, <laughs> not men. I yes. do um, work with high achieving women who are just looking for that next level of success. You know, women. We. You know, I, I was quite the high achiever, mm -hmm. and I think I still am. Mm -hmm. Except that I do it differently than I did back then. Mm. I did um, run a co-own a business which I ran with two other partners for ten years, and I got really burnt out. And it was from burning out and leaving and exploring and rediscovering myself that I found my next passion. So, high achievers we tend to go 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 go, mm -hmm. and then sometimes we get to a point in our lives where we're like, okay, I have done all of this. Mm -hmm but it really doesn't mean anything anymore. That's the type of woman I want to work with. So you've like a high achieving uh, individual career woman who has achieved, but they feel that they've lost the passion or the, you know, the motivation they, for it. Yes, or lost the plateaued. passion, the yeah. plateaued, lost yeah. the passion, lost the motivation, or it could be an entrepreneur who whose business is just stuck. Mm -hmm. They did it very well. Um, for several years mm -hmm. and it goes to a point where they're like, okay, now I don't know what to do anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's how I come in and we create that next level of success for you. Okay. Yes. So hypothetically, I'm a high achieving woman. And, uh, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like, you know what, I may need, I may need, you know, an objective person to help me with my next level, mm -hmm. you know, like say, you know, the mm -hmm. next thing mm -hmm. or how to, you know, accelerate. Mm -hmm. What kind of services would I be able to get from you, for example? It all depends with what you come with. Mm -hmm. So what is specifically are you looking to, what success are you looking for? If it's in your career, mm -hmm. then what I do career-wise is really help people up-level within, whether within or whether they want to step out and do something else. Mm -hmm. But I am not a career coach. Totally two different things. Mm -hmm. A career coach will focus on, you know, what specifically you need to do within that career and help you grow within that career. Mm -hmm. But why I, mention, why I say high achieving women, I'm looking at women in leadership who are just stuck. I am stuck. I am bored. Mm -hmm. I am tired. I am exhausted. I am detached. I am disengaged. That's the woman I want to work with. So okay. it depends what you bring with. So what's the difference between life coaching mm -hmm. and career coaching? Okay. So life, if you think of life, life has different domains. You have health, wealth, career, spirituality, personal growth, relationships. So however way you want to break it down, all of those domains are under life. Mm -hmm. So my focus is on personal development okay. and personal growth within, um, within your uh, either business or within your career. Mm. I am focusing on the personal growth, okay. not the career. Okay. However, it's a thin line. Yeah. It's a thin line. But the career coach would get into how do you write your CV? How do you market yourself? How do you do all that? Mm. I might do a little bit of that, but it may not, you know, it's not really career coaching. Okay. I don't do career coaching. Mm. Uh, however, in all aspects, relationships always come up. But even there are relationship coaches. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So, yeah, that's the difference. That's so the, the, the life coaching is basically looking at me in totality, not just yes. a component of me, just my career or just, you know, my health or just you're looking at me as in a human totality, being. Yes, but okay. it all depends. Some coaches, I will, some coaches are life coaches, but focusing on spirituality. 
Okay. Some are life coaches focusing on health mm -hmm. or weight loss. Okay. Yeah, there's all kinds of coaches, mm -hmm. all kinds. So you're, like, you're a life coach focusing on personal, personal development, development in personal whichever growth. area that I may decide I want to grow in? Foc the focus really is mm -hmm. business. Okay. Or wealth can come in. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it's you and hey. Here I am. I am stuck in my business. I am stuck in my career. I am bored. I am tired. Mm. What do I do next? Okay. And then we plan. I help you up level. Okay. To that, get to that next next level of success that you're looking for. Okay. So if if I did come to you right now, I'm I'm stuck. I I need some life coaching. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you have like specific packages that yes. I could yes. choose from? Or? Well. I have two specific packages right now. Mm -hmm. I have a program that's called Eight Steps to Strut into Your Purpose. Strut? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the stilettos. I know, I know. Strut yeah, yeah. into your Anyway, you cut walking into your head. Absolutely. <laughs> so what that program does, it focuses on people who want to find their purpose, reconnect with themselves and really understand what am I here for. Mm -hmm. Then I also have an eight-week program for anyone who's coming just randomly look, I need to shift. I am tired. I am bored. I am stuck. I need to shift. Mm -hmm. What happens there is we map out. First of all, I have to understand what it is you're looking for. And then we plan a way forward. What is it you want to achieve? And then we map out what you want to achieve and then work towards that goal. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. It's, you know, it's, um, yes, there are specific programs out there, but Everybody comes packaged differently. Mm -hmm. So the purpose stuff, that's very specific. We're going to look into your values, your strengths, um, and then eventually figure out what it is you really want to do mm -hmm. or how you help you reconnect with your passion. But the, the um, individual who comes to me that, look, I'm just bored. If that I'm one, bored. we <laughs> map it out based on what they need. But there's a set of um, guidelines that I use or... Um, yeah, guidelines, I would say, I would call them. There are certain basics that have to show up when I'm coaching someone. Mm -hmm. I have to understand where you are right now. What is it you're doing and why is it not working? Mm -hmm. Then I have to understand where you, where you want to go. Even if you don't know where you want to go, I can help you understand where you want to go. So what's between where you are and where you want to go? We call that the river of misery. So that's what I help you with. Swim through that. Very <laughs> misery. Okay. As painlessly as possible. <laughs> yes. Okay. And say that one, how long would it take? Such. Uh, the purpose one. How long would it take? The purpose one is eight weeks. Okay. And there's specific things that you have there's to do. There's specific things that we focus on. Mm -hmm. In the purpose one, uh, we focus on values. We focus on strengths. We focus on, in all of them now, not just the purpose, but all the coaching that I do, we focus on beliefs. Mm -hmm. everything that we do is based on our belief systems. I am who I am mm -hmm. today here because of my belief systems. You are who you are. Everyone is who they are because of their belief system. So we have to do beliefs. Mm -hmm. We do emotions. Emotions determine our actions. So we always have to look into what is it that's driving me to do what I'm doing or not driving me to not do what I need to do. Mm -hmm. And those are basics. They have to be involved in any coaching program. Mm -hmm. And then there's several other tools that I pull from. There's several mm -hmm. other tools. So I, this eight-week program would, would be like if I start the eight-week program today mm -hmm. for my purpose, the purpose one. Mm -hmm. And would then how would it be structured? Would I have to see you every week? Yes. Oh, no. Yes. You would have to see me every week on Zoom. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that it doesn't have to be physical. It doesn't have to be in person. <laughs> Look, that's the amount of time we would spend running and around driving, looking for each other. Yes. Might as well spend that time, you know, um, productively. So, yes, it's weekly on Zoom. Um, it's um, a 60-minute call. And then within between that first call and the next one, there's always an assignment. Or between one call and another, there's always a little assignment. And the assignment is simple. It's things that you're putting in practice to mm -hmm. be able to get you where you want to get. So sometimes you might have to do a little reading. Sometimes you're going to have to do a little writing. Sometimes you're actually focusing, you know, pulling yourself and focusing on, this is what we talked about. And this is what I need to accomplish this week before mm -hmm. I see the coach. So I'm like an accountability partner, making sure that you get where you want to get. Okay. Yeah. So we are having these eight meetings over the eight week yes. course. And by the time we're done with the eight weeks, I would, I would, you would have helped me to figure out my purpose. Absolutely. But remember, you're the one putting in the work. 
yeah you would that's when you would have helped me to figure out yes right? it's not you telling me oh don't believe this is the nope. purpose <laughs> let me tell you everyone everyone the brain is such a it's an amazing thing i mean the brain has it all mm -hmm. we all have it in us and sometimes we just need a little nudge mm -hmm. to take it out mm -hmm. yeah and those of you just helping someone to figure out what it is that's already them that's already within mm -hmm. because by the time you come to me something is telling you that this I is not enough. Yeah. I need a little bit more. Mm. So I just help you get it out of your brain. Okay. The brain has the power to do anything that we set, you know, we, we, we allow it to. It's, it's, it's I mean, it, it's powerful. <laughs> it is powerful. But as I was saying before, <laughs> yeah. I have so many tools I pull from. Yeah. I did neuro-linguistic programming, mm -hmm. which is all about reframing the mind. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, we fail to do something because of the way we're thinking about it. So I'm going to give you perspective. I have tools in there, a lot of tools that help you reframe the mind. And I also did mental and emotional release. And that's a technique that I use. Somebody, a client can come to me in a lot of distress. So I have techniques in there that I use to help them calm down before we move forward. It's very difficult to move forward when you're all worked out, mm. right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So so going back to these other two things, we mm. say the purpose one, what was the second one? Now the purpose one, mm. eight weeks, once a week, for an eight week period, by the time we are done, you will know exactly what you want you to do. Okay. The um, eight weeks for um, the individual who's come to me mm -hmm. for uh, anything random, mm -hmm. the, that woman, that high achieving woman who wants to up level their success, mm -hmm. we map it out based on what they need. Okay, so the one is customized. customized. The second one, which Absolutely. if I come to you and say, you know what? I want to grow in my current company to become the MD. Yes. Then you map the journey out. You map the journey out. Okay. What is, why aren't you the MD right now? Is where we start. <laughs> <laughs> or if I come to you and I'm like, okay, I'm done with the working life. Mm -hmm. I want to become self-employed and this is the company I want to set up. Then yes. you help me with that. Then we help you with that. Okay. Yeah. And the time for it, it depends on what it is. What I it want. is that you want and how much work you put into it. Mm -hmm. Eight weeks really can get you started. Eight weeks gives you a lot of basics, but oftentimes coaching programs need to be at least three or six months to create that transformation that you're looking for. The person who is employed is much different from the person who's going to be an entrepreneur. So we are changing the person mm -hmm. to be an entrepreneur. Okay. So that takes time. It won't and be like quick eight week thing. No. <laughs> <reason>. <laughs> <laughs> but it all depends. If somebody has done personal development work before, you might need. You might find that eight weeks is all they need. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what you say. Okay. It depends on the person. It depends on the person it's, and what they bring. Yeah. It's whatever they come with. Whatever they come with. Okay. Yes. So the other component you mentioned to me um, uh, that we talked about before we came here was, oh, I think you even mentioned it here, the business side of things. Yes. The business coaching. Yes. What is that about? So the business coaching, it's two prong. Hmm. I approach businesses and offer my mindfulness program mm -hmm. the mindfulness program is really it's not a science nothing very complicated <laughs> it's not we do <laughs> meditation and you can meditate however way you want if you're gonna go be that person that goes mm, that's okay too but i do in businesses because we are doing it in a formal setting we do seated meditations okay. it's part of the program so what mindfulness is mindfulness is all about being present in the moment and appreciating what you have control over. That's it. Mm -hmm. We worry a lot about the past or we live a lot in the past, beating up on ourselves of what happened to us. Mm -hmm. And then we worry a lot about the future. But the future is just something we create in our mind. That, that's my, I want that future. Okay, so you want it. So what are you doing about it today? So mindfulness is about this is what I have control over. Yes, I want that future. Mm -hmm. How do I get there? Okay. So being present in the moment makes you more effective, makes you more productive. Mm -hmm. It releases the stress of worrying about the past or worrying so much about the future. Mm -hmm. It's all about taking control of what you have in your presence right now and making the best of it okay yes so if you go to a company and they they brought maybe their senior management team mm -hmm. for this mindfulness coach mm -hmm. you're teaching them these skills in terms of business i.e uh, ideation corners brought their senior management team to mm -hmm. come and you're like okay guys ideation corner wants to go that far now how do you get it that far is that <laughs> what you do or it's about still the individuals here's what it's still about the individual okay but mindfulness gives you a better individual mm. to be present for that strategy that wants you to get where you want to get. 
that's what mindfulness does. It's still about the individual. It's mm. making the person uh, a, a better person of themselves. I'll give you an example. We all have daily stresses, whether it's work, whether it's home. Mm. In mindfulness, we do what is called acceptance. One of the sessions is on acceptance, accepting the good and accepting the bad. Sometimes people don't know how to accept the good. You <laughs> tell someone, hey, you look lovely. Like, oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> like, not really. Actually. Not really. <laughs> My shoes are not even nice. <laughs> the boss gives them a compliment. You did this project really well. Maybe the last three months they've been beaten up on them for what they're not doing. And then the boss gives you a compliment that, oh, my God, you did this really well. Mm. And you're like, oh, my God, you gave me a compliment? Oh, I'm my surprised. God. <laughs> you did it, right? <laughs> you didn't copy it from somewhere else. So the good. And then the bad, accepting the bad. We, you know, it's as human beings, emotions can overcome us. We get to drown in things, bad things that are happening to us. Loss of a loved one mm -hmm. can be very detrimental. And that's why you see some people really going cuckoos because they don't know how to deal with their emotions. But once you accept the bad and understand that, you know what? It was meant to happen exactly the way it happened. It's unfortunately, it's unfortunate that I was part of what happened. Then you move forward with whatever pain, whatever frustration, you can move forward, mm -hmm. you know? So, but acceptance, when you accept it, it's easier to live mm -hmm. again. However, acceptance is not condoning. Mm -hmm. Two different things. <laughs> so the things we don't condone, we deal with those as well. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things. So once... People accept that my boss has given me a bad review. Mm. Oh, a ton of work. A, oh, a ton of work. Mm. Yes, a ton of work. <laughs> All right, so what do we do? When you accept it, it's going to be easier for you to, to go back it. to the boss and tell him, look, this is a lot. You mm. want me to finish it in two days. I will not be able to. Mm. And here are the reasons why. And I need you to help me structure my calendar in a way that I can finish it. Otherwise, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then you wallop. Then you're pissed off. <laughs> your actions are going to reflect on your results. Okay. Yeah. So now this business package, does it still also take the same eight weeks, for example, like the first yes. one? Yes. It's still... The okay, so that one is standard. Yes, that yeah. one is standard. It's eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And it's for anyone. Mm -hmm. um, well, not anyone. There's some people who may not understand <laughs> some of the concepts. Yes. So, uh, yeah. But, um, yes, it's eight weeks and we cover... Um, Acceptance and now we do um, um, automatic thought patterns. We what get to that understand about? that is about what am I what what am I occupying my mind with all the time? Most of the time, not all the time. We have about sixty thousand thoughts a day, mm -hmm. and it's very difficult to understand what you focus on. Ever noticed? We all have that one person in our lives that we, who we say they are so negative. Yeah. <laughs> the reason we say that is because probably a lot of what they're saying is negative mm. and they may not know it so in automatic thought patterns we, we teach you or we show you we do exercises and we show you what your mind is focusing mm. on but sometimes you don't even know what you're thinking about no because it's, it's automatic the brain just de decides to think like <laughs> so you may not even know that you're generating a lot of negative thoughts because yes. you're not analyzing them That's yes it. It's an automatic yeah. machine. It just throws things out there. <laughs> and that's why people yes. end up saying, you hear people saying, I feel like my life is just passing by me so quickly. I don't even know. I'm not living it. I'm not living it. Yes. yes. I had a client the other day tell me, I just don't feel like I'm in control of my life. <laughs> it's running so fast. So I'm like, where is it going? <laughs> Let's catch it. Before it gets there. <laughs> you know? So yeah, our thoughts, I'm telling the brain is so powerful that mm. Sometimes we need to be trained mm. to pull ourselves back and understand what is it that I'm spending a lot of my thoughts mm. on and how uh, you, you've probably had the saying that you manifest what you think. Mm -hmm. Our thoughts are, or we are the result of our thoughts. Everything that we are today mm. is a result of our thoughts. But I'm thinking that as a company, Ideation Corner, mm. I brought you my senior management team. Mm. It's a cost to me that I'm paying for. Yes. Why do I care about the month's life running away from them. Like, how does it help me as a business? You know? I like, love like, okay. that question. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. In the mindfulness space, yes. <laughs> here's, how you, here's why you care. You want your employee to be present at work. The body might be present. The mind may not be present. So in order for you to get that productivity, you want them to be present, right? So okay. mindfulness is about being present and being effective in, and the, present in the present time. Okay, mm -hmm. so at least when they do come to work, 
we want their brain not on auto running away from them. We yes. want them to be present, doing my work. Doing I'm the work. Yeah. They're not worried about... Um, here's what we teach them to in mindfulness. Mm. is Focus on the best that you can give as opposed to focusing on the colleague that's not turning up to work, the one that you're feeling in for, yeah. or the boss that is going to... The one who chats and just drinks tea the whole day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or the boss that who's so harsh. It's a negative. <laughs> you're not going to change the boss. Okay. But you can do something about you yeah. and how you're showing up. Right. Yes. So, sorry, I stopped you. You had said acceptance. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we do ac um, attention and now, being mm -hmm. in the present moment, acceptance. How do we accept the good and the bad? Um, automatic thought patterns. Mm -hmm. What are we focusing on most of the time? Judgment. How do you judge the world? The way you judge the world is the way you judge yourself. We do goals, taking the fear out of goals. If mm -hmm. I have a goal I want to achieve, how do I... Um, pay attention to what I ca have control over today mm -hmm. and build on that until I get I to that goal. I can see that one, how it will help my, my business. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of worrying about the goal. <laughs> Bosses, we know how... I was an entrepreneur. I was When I was in NFT, yeah. my goodness, we would push for numbers, numbers, numbers. Yeah. Oh, you don't know what else is going on behind these people that you're pushing for numbers. <laughs> you just you want know? them to deliver, deliver, just, deliver. Yes. Yeah. So the people who focus on the technical, fantastic. I'll help add to the technical... Get, bring you a whole person mm -hmm. who's going to be present. Okay. So we have goals and then we have the ego. We define ourselves a lot by our accomplishments. Mm -hmm. When you strip the accomplishments away, who are you really to the core? And as the business person, as the business owner, if I cannot connect with myself to the core, mm -hmm. then that's maybe that's why I'm having fights with some of my staff because I don't understand where they're coming from. So you want to see them first as humans before okay. you see them as that manager who's supposed to give you these reports at the end of the month. Mm, supposed to deliver the sales. So integration is where we bring it all together. Mm. But at the end of every session, there's something that they take away to practice to be able to implement what they've learned. The individuals? Yes. On behalf of yes. the... What, what they take the, away, does it have to do, have something to do with the business? Like my <laughs> ideation kind of senior management team coming to you as a paid my money to train them yes. so what they take away is it still individual best or it's still could be individual my best. company goals yes so for example acceptance they'll have an assignment to go back mm -hmm. and probably think through write down some of those um uh, things that are happening to them at, they could pick anything at work or at home because whatever affects them at home it's going to show oh, they up bring it business. at work okay okay Absolutely. that's what you're saying we, we shouldn't separate like we shouldn't say, if Demily turns up at the ideation corner with her personal baggage, she brings it to the ideation corner. Totally. So if she has that baggage, it's better you can pay, then she sorts it out. It's sitting there right at the desk oh. with her. <laughs> Coming to meetings with her. So you pay me to help her sort her baggage out and leave it at home. So when she's showing up, she's, she's showing present, up. and she's delivering. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, some of these businesses have an issue with that. Because they're like, why yeah. am I paying yeah. to sort out your personal issues? Yeah. But you're saying they come with the personal issues at work. It is one brain. Yes. If the wife, if the husband is beating up the accountant at home, you're going to need to have a, you know, a, a, a sane person at the job. Okay. Otherwise, she's going to come with all her baggage. Mm. She's going to mess up, or not even. Maybe she won't mess up. Mm. She's not going to be as giving productive. you a hundred percent. She can't anyway. Exactly. Okay, that's that's really really interesting. Because I was, I think, uh, before we came here, I was telling you about this coaching industry. Yes. How I have uh, an apprehension for it. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you haven't. You guys haven't defined yourself so well. Yes. Individuals like we, me. <laughs> you're not loud enough. Yes. <laughs> the good is not loud enough. Yes. All you're hearing is, I don't need to be fixed. I don't need to be fixed. <laughs> but that's totally understandable. Mm. What's happening is, uh, there's so many people out there who are showing up as coaches. Anybody can wake up in the morning and call and themselves call a coach. Yes. Because the industry is not regulated. But mm. I decided I was going to go do the work, invest in myself to be able to help somebody else. And um, I went to the life coach school mm -hmm. where I did one year um, of coaching, a lot of technique and a lot of depth. A whole year. A, a, this was a whole year. Coach. A whole year. Mm -hmm. A lot of money. So when you go out there looking for a coach. <laughs> Check the house money, accreditation. Absolutely. Yeah. What, you, what you're paying for is what you're going to get. Absolutely what you're going to get. Mm. So yeah, the people, people are apprehensive about coaching because they think coaching has to fix something. We don't fix you. You're perfect as you are. Mm. Absolutely perfect. You are where you are because that's where you're supposed to be. So coaching is about up-leveling. I am where I am, but I want to up-level. Okay, I want to that's go to the me. next stage. Absolutely. You did mention about uh, 
cautious and maybe this is why you know some of us get apprehensive because mm -hmm. anyone can wake up i can wake up tomorrow and say coach demali sally you totally. know and then whatever i'm, I'm offering obviously mm -hmm. you know will just be based maybe on what i've read what you know what i've figured out people do because mm -hmm. i've watched some youtube videos so um and you're saying that ideally a coach should be properly trained even if it's not regulated at least Absolutely. check out what their credentials are yes well, there are certain principles that we have to go by as coaches and a lot of these principles are outlined in the International Coach Federation um, guidelines, principles and guidelines. So, for example, coaches, we don't, you know, we, you, you might give me a call in between sessions and say, look, I need some advice. I'll give you some advice then. Mm -hmm. But in the coaching session, I am getting the best out of you. So I am using certain questions mm -hmm. to pick into your brain to bring it all out so that by the time we are done, you don't need to rely on me anymore. Oh, I like that. I like that. Because also there's some coaches who just want you to be a lifetime, you know, what a, a lifetime client. You get what you pay for. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're saying, no, 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 I don't need, I don't want you to be a lifetime client. I nope. want to give you the tools mm -hmm. for you to manage your life. Absolutely. And and that's, successfully. That's yes. it. And okay. that's what I do. I bring in tools. I teach you how to coach yourself mm. even when you're not with me. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Unfortunately, we come to our thirty end of our time. Is that there was anything? So cool. I know. I told you. I told you that it means it's not enough. But anyway, we come to the end of our time. Is there anything you want to emphasize? Something you want to, you know, your parting words. Well, parting words is, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, coaches don't fix you. <laughs> There's nothing to fix. <laughs> you are exactly where you're supposed to be. So if you find somebody trying to fix you, that's not a good right coach. But also <laughs> it is, um, you know, everyone, every one of us gets to a point in our life where we just want to up level. When I left NFT, I was burnt out and I needed something else. So I went through a self discovery process. It took me three years to figure out what I wanted to do. If I had a coach before I left, it would have taken me six months. Oh, would have been quicker than you going quicker. on a three year journey. Absolutely. Okay. So that promotion that you want, that house you want to buy, whatever it is you want to do to uplift in your life, find yourself a coach. Okay. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, there you had it. Uh, you should definitely check out Unconscious Brilliance and find out if there's some service there that you may need. Uh, she says she doesn't fix you. You're already fine. <laughs> she just helps you to get to the next level. Thank you so much. <laughs>